Last week we did an experiment where we followed the top three high school recruits through 2023, 24, and 25. Today is essentially the same experiment, but with a little twist. We are gonna be following the rank one player in the nation and the worst player in the nation. See how both of their careers differ, and I have a feeling that the guy who's ranked dead last will not get recruited. That is why we're playing as Kentucky and we'll recruit him ourselves. And wherever rank one goes, he can just go there and we'll follow both of their careers. As always, fellas, let me know down in the comment section if there's any other experiments you would like to see. But now, pro stupid experiments. So what's goody fellas and welcome back to the channel. You already know the situation, you already know what's going on. I think our head coach's name is very fitting for this experiment. We needed to go with Kentucky because we need a team that will eventually get a bowl game in that last year. Because just like the other experiment, we do want to play a game with them at the end of it all. All right, and here we go. Skip to recruiting. Let's see what's going on. Starting with the rank one player in the class. This is always the funnest part of the experiment because you never know what you're gonna get. All right, we have Greg Gaines. His top schools are Alabama, Notre Dame, and Florida. He is a five-star athlete who runs a 448 at six foot two. Okay, very interesting. Now, I don't even know what the ranking system goes down to at the bottom. So let's check it out, shall we? 2,710. But he's a Juco though, so we're not gonna do, we're not gonna go after a Juco. The first non-Juco player will pick up. How many freaking Jucos are there, bro? All right, Daniel Johnson. He is a one-star prospect, 40 overall, six foot, and runs a five second 40. I should have probably said that in the beginning. It would be the first non-Juco player. I didn't know Jucos were the worst. All right, so starting with Greg Gaines. He looks like he's a quarterback, but he's probably gonna get stuck at running back though. Can play wide receiver. I would love to see Bama put him at quarterback, but more than likely be a running back. Now, Daniel Johnson. Goes up, whoa, 44 overall. This guy's a gym. 81 excel, 68 speed, 55 tackle. Have you guys ever recruited somebody this far down before? Because I haven't. His best stat is probably his jumping at 80, excel at 81, and man coverage at 69. Wow, that's awesome. Welcome to the board, Daniel Johnson. Look, bro, you're gonna need to work with me here, okay? You're not going to Oklahoma State, they're not gonna offer you. Same as TCU and damn same as Texas Tech, all right? You're just gonna have to trust me here. Just commit to Kentucky so we can let the computer take over. And we lost to Western Kentucky. Like, I just need to go to a bowl game in the last year. Is that that difficult to do? Another reason we are committing him because we need to force him to be the first string. So it doesn't even matter if we have 799 overall middle linebacker. Is Daniel Johnson is getting the start no matter what. That didn't take very long. He's already ready for a visit. He's like, wait, there's actually a team interested? No, 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 no. I gotta remove Greg Gaines. I have to. Should we get Greg Gaines? I mean, it would make it a lot easier and I could make sure that he starts. You know what? If he's genuinely interested, I mean, Alabama doesn't want him anymore. So if he's interested in coming to Kentucky, then that's two birds with one stone, really. You know what? You get a scholarship too. If you sign here, you sign here. Let's bring you in versus Alabama. That seems very fitting. I could imagine Greg Gaines rocking up to the Kentucky Stadium. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm the number one prospect in the country. I'm just here for, you know, the game. And it's just Daniel Johnson there as well. <laughs> He's like, wait, where are all the other players we're recruiting? Well, that went about as well as planned. Oh, I'm so excited. Daniel Johnson has committed. Beautiful, Greg Gaines commits. Okay, so we got both of them. The best and the worst. The only team in CFB history to get both the best and the worst player. We're still ranked at seven and three, which is very odd. And we lose to Georgia. I would say red shirt him, but the thing is we already have control over where we want to put Greg Gaines, which would be quarterback, obviously, but I want Daniel Johnson to be as bad as possible for his four years. So no, we're not going to redshirt. I've made up me mind. I'm really, really excited. <laughs> I don't know why I'm excited because this seems like really stupid, but they're the most fun experiments is when they don't make any sense and they are stupid. All right, so we got a lot of players leaving, I would imagine. Oh yeah, Keaton Wade's out of there. He's like, wait, they bring in a 40 overall? I'm out of here, bro. My heart is no longer here, coach. Well, clearly it was never here if you're going to leave. <laughs> 
kids these days and not being loyal. What is up with you guys? We had the 97th best class. Yeah, that's fine though, because we've got our one five star. Of course, Gaines. So Gaines is right at the top. I'm curious. So he's right at the very, very top. And Robinson is right down the bottom. So success. Exactly what the board should look like. I didn't expect to get Gaines. I didn't even want to go after him in all honesty. But when I saw the computer had put 700 on him, it was a no brainer. Okay, so position changes, Gaines. You're an 81 at quarterback, 80 at running back. Wait, did Levis leave? Oh, he might have been a senior though. Okay, so Greg Gaines is going to start. He already is the best anyway, so it kind of makes sense that he'd play quarterback. I mean, it was either coming to Kentucky or going to Buffalo. I know what I would choose. Daniel Johnson is right at the bottom. I love it. I, I don't know why I find it so funny. He's just so bad. All right, so let me just double check that the computer is all ready to go. Everything is fine. Everything is dandy. Uh, what is going on with the recruiting strategy? Okay, so they are taking over for recruiting. Thank goodness. So Gaines is the best quarterback that we have. Ooh, we have a lot of people that would be better. We've even got defensive ends that would be better than him. We even have a running back that would be better at middle linebacker than Johnson. Nice, and now the experiment is set up wonderfully. Gaines should probably look like a beast. Uh, I mean, he's got gloves on, which is very weird. So obviously he wasn't meant to be quarterback. And then our boy, the man, the mystery, the legend himself, Johnson. Let's have a look. He actually looks kind of swaggy. You'd walk out at the coin toss and you'd be a little bit intimidated by him. I can just imagine whoever hired us as the head coach thinking like, why is Johnson out there? It's like, I don't know what it is. I just see something in him. I see potential. We had a preseason All-American. I wonder if it was Daniel. All right, I've just checked for like the seventh time just to make sure. We are ready to go. We have Ohio. We got a bye week. West in Michigan. Bama. I mean, I see it's going about, I don't know, six and six. Now that we have Daniel out there, maybe three and nine. Well, we're losing some games we should be winning, but you can't put that down to Daniel though. I reckon he's the reason we're winning. I have a feeling that we just got absolutely smashed. At least recruiting was really, really nice this year. We go four and eight, so not very good. Okay, hopefully we don't end up getting fired because at this rate, there's a very high chance of it. Only a quarterback rating of 97 points. Four, not great. He had more interceptions than touchdowns. 2,100 yards. Not a great start for rank one in the nation. And let's check out what happened on defense. This is all we're here for. Okay, he didn't do bad. He had 22 tackles, nine solo, 13 assisted. And did he do anything else at all? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just tackled a couple of people here and there. But let's go, Daniel. <laughs> Good job, dude. Good job. Woo. Okay, we've got more people transferring away, but it's not a big deal. It's fine. That was only a little class that we're losing. So hopefully next season we make even bigger strides. Let's see what we got going on. The team looks solid. We have two right ends at 92, so I'm going to have to fix that. Gaines goes up four overall, but he was an 81, which would mean that he would have been an 83. So I guess you progress throughout the season. 87 is not bad there as a sophomore. We will take that nine times out of 10. And Johnson goes up four overall. So he's a bit better now, I guess. With his 16 trucking and 20 elusiveness. Man, he must move like an absolute banana slug out on the field. Oh, I was about to start the season. I was like, wait, they're going to bury him on the depth chart. Hold on a second. I keep forgetting. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. Ah, oh, you bastard. You're trying to trick me here, mate. So now what we got to do at least is go down to 48 overall. And there you go, Derek and Daniel, the deadly duo we didn't know we needed. Nice. Okay, Daniel Johnson back in at start. Ready for another dominant year of college football. Man, we're gonna start off against Georgia. Ah, oh, we're B, B plus and B. So we're not that bad. Surprisingly, with the huge nerf to our defense, we surprisingly go up overall. Oh, you know the gig at this point? We got Navy, uh, UTEP, that's another dub. We maybe will be able to beat South Carolina this year. We got Ohio State out of conference, like unironically. Bio week Vandy should be a dub, hopefully Mizzou this year. I don't know, I think we're primed for a pretty good season. Yeah, that's probably our best class yet. I mean, it's okay, we got everybody we apparently went after. And we got four wins. The question is, we are about to enter our junior season, so are we even gonna get a bowl game? Because if we don't, then I'm I'm gonna have to play the last game of the season instead. Oh, and I get to play offense and defense. That's what's up. That's gonna be fun. Ooh, that's no good. Well, low. We only have two more seasons to go, boys. I'm gonna need you to step it up just a tad here, all right? You know, like I'm really trying my best. Our schedule's so freaking hard though, bro. All right, so we're losing a lot of quality players here. That's probably our biggest loss of players yet. Hey, there's a couple of crappers there. What are, what, what are our classes looking like? Uh, just out of curiosity. Are they doing a good job at least? 69th, wow. That's 
that's bad. We're a three star, we're 86 overall, so hopefully we can make some leaps this year. I kind of wish that I recruited because we'd be in such a better spot, but I want to keep it as organic as possible, as unrealistic as this already is. So he's at 88. Johnson's going to be, okay, not bad. 48, he's going to probably be up to like a 52. 2,000 yards, 19 touchdowns, eight picks. So a much better season with the interceptions. The problem is the yards aren't great. I don't know why he's playing so bad. Defensively though, what are we? <gasps> Daniel Johnson, he's like right at the top. Well, kind of. He had like a third of the tackles that number one had. He had a TFL, he had half a sack. 24 tackles, 10 solo, 14 assisted, one TFL, half a sack. He had a pick? How did he get a pick? There's just no way. Oh, he even had a deflection. Okay, Daniel Johnson. The training results, what do we got? Our quarterback is up to 92, just as you would expect, really. We got a 92 receiver now. Uh, we got some solid O linemen to block for him. We have a lot of receivers, that's not the problem. So we got, yeah, look at this. This is absolutely awesome. At running back, we got a nice little 88 there. And then at middle linebacker, we have Johnson up to a 52. So just like we guessed, he's gonna keep going up four every year. We have Martez Thrower. Computer's gonna need to sign a middle linebacker because we have two and one of them's a 52 overall. But yes, nice. Okay, so we'll get a full in-depth training result update next year. Go through all their stats and everything like that. Cause I wanna see what they're working with, you know? Man, we have a corner, we have two corners and a free safety ahead of him. Come on, bruh. Put some respect on my boy's name. Did you know he got an interception last year? He's way better than the rest of you guys. So just from first glance, apart from that middle linebacker position, this team appears to be our best with pretty solid at every position, pretty much a 90 at minimum. Gaines is an impact player now. Everything is coming together. The last thing to check is that overall though. I'm, I'm curious to see 90, 95, 87. So not that big of a jump, I don't think. B plus A and B. So not bad. Our defense is still a little bit lackluster, but hopefully the offense is gonna be good enough to carry us. We got Ole Miss, Florida, South Carolina. I expect a win against them. Texas State is there, Vandy. This should by far be our best season. And we barely beat FCS. Woo, now that's a big dubski. Okay, nice little class there. This is our second. Oh, wow, we went 10 and two. Okay, now that is a good season. Well, thank goodness for that because we're about to get fired. We're all the way back up to safe now. Stats and records, Gaines moves up to 44th. He put up a thousand more yards. 3,156, 32 touchdowns, eight picks. So he will be a 99 overall. The problem is our offense, we're losing everybody. Like senior, 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 senior. Like bro, everybody is out. Johnson had 34 tackles, 14 solo, 20 assisted. No interception, so that was clearly a fluke. We had one pass deflection. We had the most tackles and we had the most assisted tackles. But I still think that second season, the sophomore one, was the best because we got a pick and we got half a sack. Imagine he tries to declare and goes to the draft, bro. Declaring, I knew it. I knew your cheeky bastard was gonna try and leave. Jude is transferring. I don't care, bro, just go. So yeah, there goes a lot of solid players, in fact, Two of them were in the second round, one in the third, and three in the fifth. That is not good for us. 13th best class, that's solid. I wish we'd had gotten that a little bit earlier, but... And the final training results. It's not gonna get any better than this. Gaines is up to a 99 overall, 94 awareness. He's got 89 agility, he can scramble it really well. A good break tackle, good elusiveness. Can stiff arm, can juke. He's got the whole package, mate. Really good at throwing the ball too. 89 throw power, 90 accuracy isn't great, but it's very balanced, obviously. And other than that, nothing too crazy. 88 stamina for the count. Where is our boy though? Where is our main man? Johnson goes up four overall. He was a 56. 58 awareness, 40 tackle, 40 break tackle, 84 excel. So he's gotten a lot better, I will say that. Yeah, T's going up, catching's a 55. Good 83 jumping. He's the best linebacker we have at jumping. Uh, our boy's got a little bit of a vertical. He's got the best finesse of anybody. Man coverage is up to a 76. He's the best there. I mean, he's just a freaking veteran at this point, mate. Oh, I'm so proud of him. He's gone up so much. He's done so well. So we start the season rank 17. I was always under the assumption that they did the rankings at the beginning based off your overall, which is very interesting because I don't feel like we're the 17th best team in the nation. I guess because our quarterback is rated so high maybe because he's a 99. Regardless of that, let's go see what our overall is heading into this last season. I really hope defense gets into the 90s, but after seeing 
our linebacking core. My guess would be that we're probably going to be around a mid 80. Same as like the last year and the year before that. So we are B, B plus and B. So we kind of fell off. 90 offense, 85 defense. Exactly how we predicted. 99 a quarterback. Running back is terrible. Receiver is decent. It's not great, but it's better than I would have initially thought. Uh, the O-line is very weak. Wow. 76, 80. I don't think we're going to make a bowl game. All right. So we got Akron. Buffalo's there as well. What's the last game? Tennessee. We'll see where we're at when it gets to Tennessee. We start off with a win, but we have to get at least six or seven wins to get that ball game, and I just don't know right now. All right, we struggled heading into the season, but survey says... 10 and 1. Okay. Was not expecting that. Uh, that's great. And all, we will get a look at the schedule after we simulate this Tennessee game. So at least we get a bowl game, man. That would be awesome. Wouldn't it be even better if we went to the Natty? There's no way at 10 and 1 we do get a Natty unless we beat Tennessee. We made dead. Oh, wow. Okay. SEC championship. This is going to be an L though. And we lose by 7. If there was a chance at the Natty, it was right there in front of us. But they say them was a pluses across the board after all gains won the heisman oh 4100 yards scrambled for 747 so that experiment was amazing we only had one rank one guy and he ends up winning that heisman trophy wow we're gonna be taking on fsu we will get a look at the overall stats after this game but for now let's uh let's go jump in and have a little bit of fun with our squad the games wears number, can you get out of the way? Number 15, okay. Not bad, nice cheeky looking number right there. Take those. I can scramble, can't I? I can. Woo -hoo -hoo. Man, they love their zone coverage. Holy moly, bro. Can't do anything out there. All right, where is he? Where's that boy? Here he is, Johnson. He's already a volcano. That's because of the coach thing boost, whatever it was. Come on, get off the... Oh my god, he's block shading. is horrendous. Please call a screenplay. Come on, I want an interception, mate. It is a screenplay. I don't think I'm fast... Oh my goodness, I'm not fast enough to get out there. Bryce, right over the top. Ooh, that's a big boy play to start out. Oh, okay, control and still not working with me. It looked like for a second there, that was going to get intercepted. Still calling that cringe man cut of the zone coverage. Oh, that could have been picked off too. I'm playing a risky game right now. I swear it did something like Florida State. Bro, I passed led that up. Oh my goodness, we got so close. I'm on a blitz. I don't think this is a smart move at all, to be honest with you. How did you let him pick up a first there? You gotta be jarking. Okay, they played again, just perfect defense right there. Crowders gets open again. Got it off in the nick of time. It's my boy Crowdis again bailing us out. This guy's a freak, bro. God, he <laughs> that was so easy, man. Let's go, games. Good job. It just really hasn't been a lot on defense to show you guys. I wish there was, but you don't want to watch a video of me just missing and getting blocked, do you? Because right now, I don't think we have a single stat. No cap. Uh, look at that, Fitzpatrick. All the way down the field in a hurry. All right, so what's the word, boys? Are you gonna get in here? Second and 10, third and eight. Touchdown, let's go Kentucky. I'm probably just gonna chill back because I imagine they're just gonna air it out here, right? Surely. Surely they're just gonna air it out. Yeah, and just, I think they must just be scared of me, mate, because they didn't throw it my way at all. This is our best chance of getting one. Did I get it? Oh, oh, I got it! <laughs> I got the pick! Johnson, let's go, bro! There's no way we picked that off! Wow, what a game! 
I could retire right now and just be so happy, bro. What a freaking job by Johnson. We were not expecting that. Hey, defense gonna force a turnover. There's no way we came into this game and got a pick, bro. As it's, there's just no chance. No chance. Lastly, that down. They are not falling for me step backs at all. Big third and six. Let's do the deed, man. We're playing. We're on man coverage. We're on the running back. Okay. I could probably lock down the... Oh, no. Oh, they didn't go to him anyway. Woo! Took away everything right there. Still not good enough. Wow. 25 yards, fourth and inches. All right, let's get him, man. Coach is saying put on the big boy balls. That's exactly what we're going to do. We only need a gain of an inch. A flea dick. Oh, that's too easy right there goes our boy Crowders. Man, we are dropping touchdowns. They're dropping touchdowns. This is going crazy right now. We're going to see them definitely up the tempo here. So we want to play these last pivotal minutes. Running back's probably going to be on a couple plays here too. Ah. Oh, it was so close. At least we got the tackle. Good job. Come on, just get one sack and we are big chilling right there. Oh, I got a play a lot. Whoopsies. I don't think we would have made a play anyway. It's an L, bro. Just take the L. No, oh, come on. I was so oh, missed the tackle. I got him. Nice. Okay, I didn't even get a chance to do anything there. And it's picked. GG's. Thank you for coming out, Florida State. It was a, it was a privilege. So that means... In Johnson's entire career, he had two interceptions. And it was us who got one of them. And Daniel Johnson, we got him. We led the game in tackles. We had a TFL and we had a sack and we had a deflection. Just insane, right? Like as soon as we take over the worst player in college football history, that's what happened. Gaines broke right every record. We'll have to look at the uh, the record stats too. Crowders, no surprises there. He balled out when we played with him. So Gaines had 4,500 yards, 43 touchdowns, and seven interceptions, 187 passer rating, just insane. And where is our boy Johnson? 30 tackles, 19 solo, 11 assisted, six TFLs, a sack and a half, and he obviously had that interception that we got two deflections as well. For Johnson's career, he came away with 52 tackles, seven TFLs, 58 assisted, two sacks, two interceptions, and four pass deflections. Without a doubt, for Gaines, his last season was his best by far, 4,500 yards. 43 touchdowns, seven picks. Average yards per game was 322 that final year. We finished with 11,923 yards in that one. Getting a look at the rushing, he had 3,200 on the ground. Pretty consistent, averaged 4.1 to 4.3 throughout his entire career. 31 rushing touchdowns, longest rush of 46, 96 breaking tackles, and he fumbled the ball quite a bit, but still, just a, a dominant performance. Last thing to note, Gaines did go to the draft projected in the first round. Daniel Johnson just not good enough to get drafted, which is obviously understandable. But fellas, if you made it this far in the video, then you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day's awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Sometimes I'm winning, can I breathe right underwater? Sometimes I'm winning, can I speak in outer space? Sometimes I'm winning, can I call upon a thunder? Sometimes I'm winning, can I make the earth?